Welcome to day three of our expert adventure. And finally, we are off for some good flights. The start of the day was still wet. We had a very exhausting hike through a muddy uh, terrain, which basically looked like like the jungle. After a good amount of time parawiting, it was finally time to fly a little bit. Finally. difficult part was to cross the main chain of the Pyrenees which seemed kind of impossible for that day fly-wise. Gliding this shitty valley, trying to soar up all the time. Uh, as you can see, it's quite narrow. Wood, shit, and but yeah, at least we flew a bit. Um, it was a windy and really narrow valley with um, not so many landing options. The ground support, yeah, they helped me a lot, like showing where it's possible to land and where better not to fly. If you're not high enough, you have to walk over the pass. Um, it was late already, I think it was around 8 and we were only allowed to fly until 9. We had to push to the next possible takeoff and we were rewarded with one of the best flights in the Pyrenees. Ha ha ha! 
Grand Tempo Mata in it, one. Even though we had strong wind to land, it was a pleasure finally to fly in the Pyrenees, Pyrenees style, yeah. We managed to find a good sleeping spot again next to a small river. The, the whole field was split into two packs, um, which was, yeah, was hard to see because uh, the others who made it a bit earlier to the south side were able to take in some really good flights um, on day three. So we were looking forward to day four and five already um, to do some catching up. 